Ladies and gentlemen, hey, hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. It's obviously been a very busy past couple of days with so many different reveals surfacing regarding Modern Warfare 3, whether it be campaign, multiplayer, or the new co-op for MW3, Zombies, which is quote unquote, the largest zombies experience ever because it's more of an open world DMZ sort of zombies hybrid. However, with that news probably comes the biggest concern going forward for a lot of players from MW2 and Warzone into MW3 and probably one of the only main drawbacks and, uh, you know, problems that we've had surface from all the news. For the most part, it's been a lot of very promising information with the changes to multiplayer and how things are going to be approaching MW3. Seems like we're finally getting back to what Call of Duty is at its roots and they're really listening to the community, except DMZ and the future of that mode seems to be in jeopardy. In fact, it's quite possible that DMZ just after one year of actual gameplay with its inception here in MW2 and Warzone 2 is going to be canceled and ultimately replaced in favor of this zombies sort of DMZ hybrid that has a lot of people talking, some good and some bad. Of course, we are a bit limited in the information that we have now since the reveals are so fresh and we should be learning more in the coming days, weeks, and months. And as we get any new information, I'll be sure to keep you guys updated. So you'll want to stick it here for all things going on in COD. Make sure you are subscribed with those noties turned on. And if you guys enjoy the video at all, you want to support the channel, do me a favor, drop a like. It would be really appreciated. But you'll probably have noticed that throughout all the reveals this week, we got a bunch of information on campaign, including the reveal trailer. We got a lot of multiplayer details that we've covered in previous videos. If you haven't caught those, be sure to go and check those out. We got a lot of details on zombies, even although not as much as some of the other modes, but DMZ radio silence. In fact, Charlie Intel posted saying there was no information shared about DMZ or if DMZ would still exist after MW3's launch. This is in relation to uh, them actually being able to go and check out MW3 a bit early at the Sledgehammer Studios. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to make it because of some personal stuff, but they basically got to learn a lot about uh, different things with MW3, but DMZ was not mentioned at all, which first and foremost, I would say is that red flag. If they're talking all sorts of stuff about campaign, multiplayer, zombies, even a little bit about Warzone that we've talked about previously, but nothing about DMZ that probably does not bode well for the future. And then you look into what exactly is going on with zombies, and you'll learn that it seems like they are completely replacing DMZ in favor of this. Charlie Intel posts saying Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. It's basically DMZ plus Outbreak, which we saw back in Cold War. PVE only, and we'll touch more on that here in just a bit. It's going to be played on the new Warzone map, which is supposedly Las Almas set in Yerzikstan, basically, which would add up because that's what DMZ is now being played on the Warzone maps. Four player squads, up to 24 players, similar to DMZ, but not one to one. There's buy stations, ammo depots, wall buys, mystery boxes, pack and punch, X fill with rewards. There's X filling coming to zombies obviously DMZ tied in, and then the cinematic story, a part of the Treyarch zombie storyline. Charlie Intel also says, in the new Modern Warfare Zombies, while you'll be with other squads in the main gameplay, Treyarch confirmed that there will also be part of the mode that teleports your team to a separate area to battle zombies for more cinematic intel and rewards. So it's almost like a different area there set up for uh, traveling to, and it's not just on the main map there, right? And then you look at the official breakdown of zombies in MW3 from the Call of Duty accounts. And while it is somewhat ambiguous, it does give us a decent direction of where things are headed. They say zombies, an all new open world. And obviously DMZ marketed as like this open world experience. For the first time, team up with other squads to survive and fight massive hordes of the undead in the largest zombies map ever. Modern Warfare Zombies tells an involved and unearthly storyline for Dark Aether set in the Modern Warfare universe. Expect to undertake missions across different regions that escalate in difficulty with core zombies features and a cavalcade of secrets to discover. Ready up for an open world player versus enemy PVE extraction survival experience against some of the biggest enemies in COD history. So as Charles Intelligence alluded to in that initial tweet, Zombies this year is basically outbreak from Cold War, but also elements of DMZ. And it'd be very strange if in Modern Warfare 3, you had DMZ as a standard mode, and then also the DMZ zombies elements. It would make much more sense if there was gonna be just an all-in-one DMZ style mode, which is now being marketed as zombies. So by all indications, yes, 
just after one year by the time the mw3 launches dmz will have been cancelled and replaced and obviously dmz is not for everyone although it certainly had a lot of hype going into it because extraction shooters are kind of on the up and up and it's fun for what it is you know i've enjoyed my time on it it certainly has taken the back seat it seems like in several cases to warzone updates and even to some multiplayer updates it's infinity wards project but uh obviously they also work on mp as well so it doesn't get their full attention and while it was fun for what it was probably fell a bit short of expectations given the hype behind extraction shooters leading up to it right and you know there's a lot to do in it it is a very cool mode but it started out obviously it's free to play but it has certainly turned into something that has been monetized a lot through the sort of pay to win bundles that are available in the store giving you extra bonuses for it and it's taken some turns here and there that not everyone has been a huge fan of and because of that it seems like maybe that's part of the reason why it is being scrapped and canceled already and i feel like it might be extremely telling the fact that we're now going to see zombies in the modern warfare universe which originally back in mw 2019 was said to be extremely unrealistic so it was never going to happen in exchange for dmz being canceled when that's something that does line up one to one with the modern warfare universe and has been the method of storytelling for a lot of the allure in mw2 so far it just didn't succeed like they wanted to and is now being replaced so while yes we have a lot of very exciting news for mw3 and it does look like it's going to be giving the community a lot of what we've asked for for a couple of years now a huge con and a huge letdown of the game is the fact that dmz appears to be no more now that's not to say it's going to be you know unplayable as soon as mw3 drops i imagine it's still going to be an option through mw2 in that application or through the warzone extensions but as far as it getting new updates and receiving the new maps with like los almas and everything that's up in the air and obviously with zombies being the forefront and focus of the co-op modes moving forward dmz probably is not going to be uh receiving much attention unless infinity ward is staying back just to focus on that instead of you know shifting forward towards whatever their next project is in 2025 or 2026. and i think one of the biggest concerns with this news is that we're changing the formula of co-op already obviously dmz a huge element to this is the fact that it is pvpve so you can fight the enemy ai and the bots and you do through a lot of your missions but you also run into other players and there are some awesome moments to be had from that whether it's teaming up with strangers in game to do some missions whether it's taking out other squads trolling doing whatever there's awesome storylines to be told through that but as discussed with zombies this is changing to dmz times zombies but it's just pve you're not going to be able to fight other players in this new experience in this open world experience you're only going to be able to fight the zombie enemies or the human ai that are also there i believe you can uh, engage with those which is taking away a huge element of this co-op and open world dynamic that we've had through dmz that to me is probably the biggest surprise and one of the biggest reactions i think so far is players not happy that they're taking away that player versus player element within this now maybe that's a change because of the feedback that they have internally regarding player versus player in dmz it's obviously been a very controversial subject all year long with you know the assimilation and too many six-man teams or players coordinating to team up outside of the game through discord calls or whatever there's been a lot of controversy with it and maybe internally feedback says hey maybe pvp isn't the direction we want but it's certainly a drastic change and pretty shocking that even just after one year it's a mode that's already being replaced so interesting for sure let me know your thoughts on this down in the comments below do you think this is a good thing are you more of a zombies fan so you're happy to see this are you more of a dmz fan so you're bummed to see this would love to hear your guys thoughts on this but that's gonna wrap things up for this one if you guys enjoyed the video let me know by dropping a like on it would be really appreciated and if you're new here feel free to hit that subscribe button on your way out to stay up to date with all things going on in cod between mw3 and warzone but once again, thank you so much for tuning in. And until next time, take it easy. Have an awesome rest of your day. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.